video, we're going to be looking at a hidden stash guide on woods. I've got 36 locations to show you. There's some new locations that have been added since the 12.12 .12 wipe. I'm going to give you as much information as possible so you can find those locations. It's a long video. If there are specific stashes that you can't find, scrub through the chapters to find those stashes. But stick with the video. I guarantee you, you're going to be able to find the stashes after seeing this one. We're going to go through the stashes in order 1 through 36. If you're having trouble finding specific stash, scrub through the chapters to find that location. Let's get going. So we're here at the outskirts exit. We're going to make our way to the first stash. We're basically going to turn around and head towards the lake. So when you see the lake off to your right hand side, just turn to the right again. You're looking for this wooden hut. This kind of wooden search hut, bird catching hut. I don't know what it is. And then to the left of that hut, you've got a big set of trees. And at the base of these trees, here is your first stash. I'll just show you from a bit further away. So there's the hut. There's the trees. From this stash, we're going to turn around. Basically head towards scope shack or attachment cabin. So this is Scope Shack, otherwise known as Attachment ha Cabin. Uh, reason being, there's lots of scopes and weapons attachments inside, just in case you didn't know. There are scabs that spawn around here as well. When you get into this position, I want you to sort of stay tight to the fence here and run along the line in front of you. And we're actually looking for this downed tree here. So it's just off to the left. When you see that, I just want you to run around it to the left. And right in front of you, you should see a second downed tree. When you see that one, I want you to turn around pretty much 180 degrees. And you should have a tree with a load of bushes. And we've got a double tree here. So at the base of this first tree, here is the second stash. From here, the best thing to do is just back off, turn left, around about 90 degrees. And you've got like a row of trees and bushes going down here in a line. So we're going to follow that line of trees and bushes. We're then going to hit some broken logs on the ground. And when you do that, stop, turn to your right, and you should see a set of rocks. Head towards those rocks. When you get to these rocks, stop, turn 180 degrees, and you should see a tree in front of you with a load of bushes going off to the left. So I want you to sort of go to those bushes and just come along the front of these bushes. And here is the third stash. So from this stash, I'm just going to back away, turn right 90 degrees, and we want to head for the road. You just keep running until you hit the road. Okay, so that wasn't some of the most graceful running I've ever done. Uh, but you should see a truck to your right-hand side with some logs. And then over there, you've got the sawmill area. You can probably just make it out on your, your picture. And to the left, you've got the checkpoint area with the 4x4. There is a scav spawns all around there as well. So when you hit the road, you want to be heading up the tr uh, the hill, which should be somewhat in front of you. You should, should be pretty much in front of you. You should be around about this far away from the truck on your right. So just head up that hill. And keep going up the, the hill. And what you should see in front of you is a fallen tree in the same direction of travel as you. So when you see that... You want to kind of slow down and come to the left of that tree. And then just beyond the, the second tree there, you've got a stash. Okay. So you've got the fallen tree there. You've got a big one, real tree. <laughs> and then underneath the fallen tree is the barrel stash. It's a better picture. 
So off to the next stash, we want to travel along the line of direction of this fallen tree. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So just line yourself up and then run in as straight a line as you can possibly run in. And you should hit a dip in the ground like this, like a mini valley almost. When you do, when you hit that dip, stop. And I want you to find the big mountain. It's currently hidden by a few trees, but if I move slightly to the right, uh, you can get a better picture of it. There's a big mountain here, okay? So I just moved back to where I was. I want you to turn to the right and look for that mountain. And then when you see it, head down the dip and up the other side. And then keep going forwards until you see a set of rocks. Okay. So we're here. And I want you to have a mental picture in your mind of the mountain kind of behind the rocks in this kind of um, picture here. Okay. And then when you get this, come forwards to the, the front of these rocks. And in the center here is a tree with the barrel stash. So the key to this one is having a, a picture in your mind of the mountain behind the rocks in this kind of view, okay? Because there are quite a few of these rocks. If I go to another set of rocks, just here, can you see the mountain is in a different position here? I'm looking off to the left with the mountain behind, off pointing my gun off to the left, whereas the previous time I was kind of pointing off to the right. So you can see the difference there. So if you're coming from a different direction than the stash that we'd previously visit, you know, just come along the, the, just kind of follow along the dip here and just find the rocks and then come up to the center of the rocks. And if you can put the mountain behind them in this kind of view here with your gun sort of pointing off to the right towards the mountain, then you should be in the right spot and you can find the center of the rocks. I can't even find them. Here they are, center of the rocks. And there's the stash. I'll also give you a bearing from this uh, huge rock here. Sometimes this might be a little bit easier to find for you. Um, but I think if you can find this big rock, then you're going to be okay. Because it's, it's almost in front of it. But here is the, um, the bearing to the stash is about 325 degrees. Um, when you're stood on top here of this big rock hopefully that's helped out i tried to keep the explanation a little bit shorter than the last time i did this video but um yeah if you have any problems get into the discord and uh, i'll happily help you find it if you're struggling from here though we're going to go to the next stash it's a brand new stash it never been found before uh, it was found by sr boom who got in touch with me uh, on my discord and sent me a picture and um yeah we're updating the video to include it now i have noticed it's just been added onto map genie but props to sr boom he found it before it was even on map genie so from this stash here just back away and come around the side of these rocks okay and just head forwards and there's there's a path here and it should get to a crossroads okay so here is the crossroads you can go forwards you could go right or you could go left, okay? And we want to keep traveling forwards between the mountain here on the right and another set of rocks on the left. So we travel forwards, following the path between two trees. And we get to like a hard T-junction with a tree at the end. So you could go left there or you could go right. And we want to turn right at this hard T-junction. And we want to follow the path to the next set of rocks that are right in front of you. And then just keep going until you hit those rocks. And you can probably see the stash now. Just to the left here, at the base of those rocks, there's a tree there as well. There we go. So props to SR Boom. Brand new stash here. And hopefully this will be the first video showing it as well. Now, in terms of your location and your bearings, I'm just going to run down here because this is another good way to find uh, this position. We've got a pylon here, and that's going to come. That's going to become more apparent later on. We're going to use that pylon as a reference for a, another stash. Um, over behind us, just over there, we have Usec Camp, um, and just in front of us, we have a truck 
with a load of down logs and I'm sure I'll reference that in the future as well and um, so hopefully you can get a bead on that um, and let's just uh, quickly head back to the stash just through this gap in the cliff here and here it is ah I got it wrong <laughs> right here I need to watch my own video <laughs> right I'm gonna move positions now and go to a new stash so here I am right in front of ZB014 Bunker you should know this location because it's a PMC extract so if you don't know this location uh, look out for my learn woods map because you really gotta know this one so we're gonna find our way to the next stash from here this is an easy recognizable location so this is why I chose it so just turn to your right and follow along the line of the fence north So you should run past like a big digger and a flatbed truck and just keep going north over to your left there is a pylon we're going to reference that pylon in the future it's got a snap uh, scav sniper board on it so you kind of keep following the same line that you had but we're going to head towards the road okay so we're just going to slightly arc off towards the road and we want to put ourselves between the pylon just over there on the right and the pylon that I just referenced before. Kind of in, in the middle between those pylons. So I already know where I'm going, so I know I'm in the right position right now. But what you want to do is you want to look for the pylon on the left-hand side with the scav sniper board on it. You then want to look to your right and you should see another pylon further up. And then in between those two, you've got a hill right here. With a load of trees on it and then to the right hand side of that hill you've got a big rock okay and i want you to put yourself in this position now i want you to make sure you stay on this side of the road and then put yourself here in this position because on the other side of the road uh, there's a minefield so make sure you stay kind of follow the route that i'm in now we're going to cross the road i'm going to go up the hill i'm going to go through two sets of bushes this is the first one and this is the second one and then when, once we reach the other side of the second one you see the minefield signs be careful just turn around 180 degrees and at the base of the second bush here is the stash so to get back remember don't go off route go through the two bushes and then down the other side and cross the road i don't want you to get hit by mines here okay so that's a tried and tested route if you follow that exact route, you will never hit a mine. Um, but if you go off route, you could hit a mine. Okay? So once you get back here, turn to the right and follow the road up. We're going to head towards Uset Camp. We're going to go past the pylon on our left. And then we're going to turn and head for the next pylon up. I want you to come around the left-hand side of this pylon. And at the concrete base around the left, here is the stash. So from here, we're going to head towards Uset Camp. I'm just going to make it easy and head towards the road, but usually I would cut through. Um, so I'm going to head towards the road and head up towards Uset Camp. So when you get in this kind of position, you should have Uset Camp just in front of you. You've got a, a pile of rubbish over there to the right. And then if you turn 90 degrees to the left, you've got like a tree line here. So we're going to head in to this tree line. I'm just going to try and avoid these trees or bushes, should I say. Do you want to head into the tree line? And this is what I called sort of the first set of trees. Okay, so I'm going to call this the first set of trees. Okay, and two, just keep going through. And then once you get to the other side, you've got this set of yellowy flowers here. And there's a there's a pocket of them so try and get yourself in this exact same position and then in front of you you should get a section a long section of tall grass we're going to go through that to the next set of trees and if you turn 90 degrees to your right this is the kind of view you've got a view set camp this is a really hard stash to find so i'm going to go through it as comprehensively as i possibly can so keep moving forwards through the next set of tall grass and when you get to the other side of that tall grass we're going to go into the next tree line 
So that's kind of the view of USEC camp. You want to keep looking at USEC camp and you want to use that as a reference for distance and as how far away you need to be and to get a mental picture in your mind of what you should be seeing. So go past the long section of glass, grass, go to the second section of trees, okay? And I want you to go all the way to the back of this section of trees. And again, try and get yourself in these yellow flowers right here or whitish. They're a bit more white than yellow. I guess they're white flowers, really. Um, and get yourself to the back. And what you should see are two minefield markers. We've got one right there. They're going to be small on your screen, but they're going to be bigger in real life when you actually do this. We've got one off to the left, okay? So you should be seeing this. And then I know I'm in exactly the right position, but if you come to the right kind of area, this is the kind of view of you set camp. Now, the car's going to probably look a little bit bigger than it does on your screen. You want to be in this set of white flowers here. Okay, look for the minefield sign. Look for the second minefield sign. Turn to your right. You've got a big tree the base of that you've got a set of bushes right in front of you you've got your stash <laughs> i've made that look easy i'm not gonna lie i have made that look easy this is the hardest stash to find on woods you're gonna struggle to find this stash i'm not gonna lie to you if you found it congratulations a lot of people can't find this stash what I recommend, go into offline mode and play around this area until you find it. And then start making kind of mental pictures in your mind of what you should be seeing in USEC camp. So that you can come here and what I tend to do is just, just do this and kind of look at USEC and think, is that right? Yeah, that looks right to me. And then I'll come through to the back here and I'll look at the minefield signs and I'll be like, is that right? Yeah, that looks right to me. And then I'll turn right and I should be seeing the tree in the bushes. I'll try and give you a bearing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through to this tree in front of me. So there's a set of um, flowers here. And then there's a minefield sign right in front of you. It should be almost right in front of you. I'll try and make it a bit bigger. I don't want to go too close. I'm, I'm probably going to stop here. That's about as close as I want to be. <laughs> Even in an offline raid when I'm showing you, I don't like getting hit by mines. Okay, so I want you to stand right next to this tree here. Okay, and then we're going to get our compass out. We'll take a bearing to that tree in front of us. I hope it's that one. And the bearing should be 100 degrees on the north. Hopefully I'm reading that compass right. Okay, and then you push forwards... Yeah, and there is the stash. So hopefully that's uh, giving you a good in indication of where you need to be. I might be able to give you like a second bearing just off this tree here. So if I carried on walking, this is the second minefield sign that I was talking about in the long grass here. So that's kind of where you are. You see there's more of them as well. Um, so try and maybe find this tree here. I mean, if you can find this, then you're going to be okay, really. Uh, it's a bearing of... 65 degrees uh, maybe it's a maybe it's a more like 60 degrees yeah there we go maybe we could try and give you one more bearing if we come all the way to the back we've got the tree at the back if you can find this tree it's a little hard to uh to see now but if you stand next to this tree at the back almost going to be zero yeah it's basically what 10 degrees on this tree at the back just run through there we go hopefully that's helped you um let me know if you have troubles finding this stash head into my discord and i'll be happy to jump into a quick you know offline or online raid and just to show you the stash and just so you can find it um, but this is the hardest one on woods to find. Now, if you want to go from this stash into USEC camp, just don't run directly forwards and up this hill into USEC camp. It's a minefield. So head to the right, head back towards the road where the pylon is and the power wires and head up the side of the hill that way. Alternatively, you can head around to the left. That's the direction we're going to go in for the new stash. So I want you to turn left. Um, pretty much 90 degrees, not quite. 
Be careful of the minefield here. Um, it's going to be on your left hand side as we're running forwards now. Um, so go into the tree line and you can skirt around the hill of Yusek Camp. Don't just run directly up that hill in front of us now. It's still a minefield. You're going to get hit by mines. The safest path is to kind of follow the line of this trees. I'm, I'm arcing to the right slightly here. I'm arcing to the right. And you should be in between two hills now. So you've got Yusek Camp on the right hand side. We've got a second hill on the left, and we're going to go up that to the next stash. But I'm just going to keep forward. I'm going to walk towards the lake. Um, and so you can see exactly where you are. I'm going to show you the safest way up into Yusek Camp. So here's the lake in front of you. Hill to the left, that's with the next stash. And Yusek Camp Hill to the right stash. I usually come all the way around until I'm almost at the side of this rock here. You should be safe after those rocks in the distance, but I don't trust myself. So I come all the way to the left and I just come up past this rock on the left into the back of Yusek Camp. Okay, so if you want to just grab some loot, you've not heard anyone in Yusek Camp, you can come in. I'm going to show you a fantastic spot right here for getting some great med items. Opthalmoscopes do spawn here. And uh, other med items as well. You've got milk here, food, drink. This is a really good spot that some people don't know about. Also, just check the floor um, at the base of this table uh, as well. Because you can get something spawn on the floor. I've had a grizzly on the floor. I've had ophthalmoscopes on the stretcher. Uh, all that kind of stuff. And obviously, you've got loads of weapon attachments and all the other things that USAC Camp provides as well. Um, but don't stick around too long here because you're going to get lots of PvP uh, around this area. So we're going to go back down the back of Yusek Camp. And we're going to go up the hill opposite. Remember? To the next stash. Okay, so up the hill. And we want to head for the center of the hill. Now there's a little kind of incropping here. So just to the right of that, into the center of the hill. You've got loads of tall grass here. And we want to be looking out for this rock in the center of the hill. And you come around here there is the stash so one of the best ways is to just run around this rock like in a 360 degree path um to find the stash and if you've got the wrong rock you obviously won't find the stash because there's a few rocks like this if you hit this rock here off the left i saw it slightly you know you can run around this rock and look for the stash you know and you can't find it clearly because this is the wrong rock and then you can kind of be like, oh, this is the wrong rock. And then you search for another rock and you run around it. Because there's a few of these rocks here. But once you've found it, like once, twice before, you should find this one pretty easy to find. Okay, so to find the next stash, we're going to turn right around about 90 degrees. And then we're going to turn right a little bit more, okay? And we're going to head to the, we're going to head to the edge of the hill. So I want you to look for scav bunker there should be a radio mast that hopefully you can pick out we're going to head towards that radio mast now my normal route from this stash would be to go around the back here um, and skirt the minefield on my left hand side but the easiest way to show you is head up to scav bunker and then once you've found the stash you can you can make your own route to it you can get a bit sneakier with the routes so i'm in an offline raid if you're in a real raid, there's going to be loads of scavs up here. So be careful. Here is the radio tower at Scav Bunker. When you find this, turn to your left around about 90 degrees. Head to the edge of the hill. And we're looking for a set of rocks. Here we go. They're right in front of us. So we've got a nice big section of rocks here. So come to the edge of these rocks. And I want you to find two specific rocks in particular. I want you to find this one here. And I want you to find this one here. So they're just jutting out of the ground. And I want you to line yourself up behind these two rocks. And then we're going to follow the line down from these two rocks. I'm just going to walk this first one just to um, make sure that I'm not doing it too fast. Just keep following the line of these rocks. And into view, you're going to see a blue fence. And you're going to see a dead scav. And you're going to see a scav sniper sign on that fence. Okay. So that's going to be quite small on your screen, but when you look at it in real life, when you're doing this in a raid, you're going to you're going to be able to pick them out. OK, so when you see those, I want you to turn around 180 degrees. You've got the rocks behind you. Remember, 
And then just to your left, you've got a set of bushes. You've got a tree with loads of foliage on it. And you've got a bear tree with no foliage on it. And then foliage further up the trunk. Head towards those bushes. Come around the front of the bushes to the left slightly. And there is the stash. This one's quite a hard one to find. But once you've found it like two, three times, um, it, it's much easier. And you can actually get much better roots um, to get to it. But this is the easiest way to find it. So we're just going to run through through it again so it can be nice and smooth. You, know, you find the radio beacon at Scav Bunker. Come to the edge of the hill and find the rocks. And then you find these two rocks in particular. One, two. Line it up. Run down these rocks. Once you get really key, you can even just, just point, pick it out straight away. But well, just keep going until you see dead Scav. Sniper sign on the blue fence. When you get here, turn 180 degrees, turn left slightly, head to the bushes, and there is the stash. Right, we're going to head to the next stash now. So turn left 90 degrees, uh, probably about 60 degrees, and head to you stop running and you want to hit a road. Stop when you get to the road. Be careful of the minefield on your left hand side, don't go too far to the left. Okay, so here we are at the road, and we've got a, a triangular intersection of grass here. So, you set, uh, sorry, scav bunkers up in that direction. If we follow this intersection through, you've got a huge rock at the back. We're gonna, we're gonna reference that in a moment. And if we follow it through, you've got scav bridge in front of you. This is a scav exit. And then down that road there is to the abandoned village or the sunken village. I think it's abandoned village. Okay, and then here is that triangular intersection of grass. So you find this rock at the back of the intersection. And if you're if you're on this road at the back, on your right hand side should be a big section of tall grass. We're gonna go in between the rock and the tall grass. And then when we get to the front of the tall grass, we're gonna follow the tall grass around. You've got some bushes here as well. And at the base here is the stash. Okay, so what the tells you wanna be looking for, the big rock, and then turn to your left and the, and the tall grass here as well. Obviously in the perspective from the front. But that's what you wanna look for. You wanna look for the big rock next to the rock, the tall grass, and at the front of the bushes here is the stash. So if you come from the front, I'll just show you that as well. It's nice and easy. This one's quite an easy one to find. But do be careful of scavs. can be kind of hard to deal with scavs around this area. So coming from the front, you basically just run through until you see the rock. You know, you can look for the tall grass. And then you can come to the front of the bushes and the grass. And there is the stash. Right, we're going to head to the next stash now. We're going to make our way to the road. And we're going to follow the road. Okay, so this is the convoy. You'll have had to go here for an early task, I believe from Prapper. And in front of that convoy, you've got like a fallen tree here. So I want you to line yourself up with this fallen tree and just follow the fallen tree forwards. I'm going to do it slowly. I can't help but run, but I'm going to do it slowly. Just follow the path of that fallen tree and you should hit kind of the shoreline. So when you hit the edge of the grass, grass here with the beach and the, the lake, sort of follow the edge of the grass. So you're going to turn to your right and you're going to follow the edge of the grass and you're basically going to walk right into the stash. There we go. That is the easiest way to find this stash and it's really easy to find if you follow those instructions. But if you're coming from a different direction, which often I am, often I'm coming um, through the forest, I'm going to show you how to find it. So there's a stash just up in that direction and often I visit that one first and then come down to this one. So if you are, I want you to sort of come towards the edge of the, the lake and we're just going to move forwards through the trees and what you're looking out for is two sets of three triangular packed trees. It's kind of hard to explain this. It works off geometry, but in here I can now pick off these three trees here. One, two, three. They're in a tight triangle of pack of trees okay so usually 
when you're running through or coming through, I can usually pick these out. So I'll get to this position here and go, right, they're the three triangular trees, okay? And then when you see those, you turn all the way to the right. And basically, there's another three set of triangular trees here. And the stash is obviously at the base of those trees. So one, two, three. Let me just come around this way. One, two, three. In a triangle with the stash at the base. And that's how I do it. That's how I find it. It might sound strange to you, but honestly, it works. Maybe it's just my brain. Maybe they just work off geometry more than other things. But as I'm running through, I'm like, bang. Yeah, there's that triangle. Turn to the right. Yeah, there's the triangle. Here's the stash. I can also use this kind of pier with the boat as a mental picture in my mind, just like the USEC camp to kind of help me know where I should be when I'm visiting this stash. Also, if you stand on this stash, you can just see the truck there, just so you're aware. Right, we're off to the next stash though, so we're going to cross to the next uh, lake. So here's the first lake. If you kind of line yourself up like this and then turn to the right, around about 45 degrees and head forwards, you should, well, you should basically hit the road. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it's best just finding the road and then following it through until you find this kind of bare patch of land. And then when you do, turn left and head through the trees. Now, I know I'm in the right place, like, immediately. I'll show you the stash. It's right here. But that's because I, I know how to find it, obviously. You're looking out for these yellow leaves. Okay, this is the biggest towel, and then there's a bush at the front. There's a bush at the back, but at the front... There is the stash. Now, the way to find this the first time is to reference these two trees here on this kind of little island surrounded by rocks on the other side of the lake. And so if you line yourself up in between these trees and you turn 180 degrees and you walk back, you're almost going to run into that those sets of uh, flowers, okay? So yeah, you're basically going to run into the stash, the flowers. They might just be off to your right-hand side, but there they are, okay? So that's one of the best ways to, to find this stash. Just run down to the bank. You're kind of out in the open here, though, so do this in an offline raid, learn it, and then you'll be fine. Turn around 180 degrees. I didn't do that very well. Let me do it again. So 180 degrees, around about there, and make our way back. And you should just pretty much run straight into it. The alternative to find this stash is run to the pylon at the back or just, just run, find the road and find the pylon. Now, we referenced this pylon earlier when we were talking about that, that brand new stash, okay? So this is the pylon that I was talking about when we were finding the brand new stash and I'll show you that in a minute. It's just up there. Um, but yeah, find the road, find this pylon and kind of set yourself up in between the pylon in the center and follow the line of the pylon, okay? So you can see these two, kind of the center of the pylon, just, just follow it through. I'm gonna run this, but you, you can walk it and just go down in a straight line and you should hit kind of a mini set of yellow flowers. I'm, I'm not gonna reference them, but here we are. We're just gonna run straight into the main set of yellowish flowers. And at the front there, we've got the, the bush and just in front of that, there is the stash. So from here, I want to basically run back to the road. Here it is. And that was the pylon that we just used then to find that stash. So we run back to the road and I think, I think just up here is where the brand new stash is. Yeah, so just up here. There's the brand new stash. But rather than that, once we're on the road, we're going to turn right and we're going to head forwards. So on our left hand side, we've got the truck with all the down logs. And then we've got a triangular intersection of grass. And I want you to run until you're about halfway along this intersection, okay? We're going to reference this Christmas tree. Twiggy little Christmas tree, okay? That's, that's going to be our town. I'm just going to show you the other side of the intersection. 
So here's the other side. And we just came down that road there. And if you went down that road, you'd find the sawmill. For reference, there's a blue fence just in the distance with a load of rubbish at the base of it. I'm going to reference that in the future um, when I talk about another stash, okay? So just so you know. So we're going to come halfway along this intersection and we're going to find that twiggy little Christmas tree. Okay, it stands out. It's basically a tiny little twiggy tree surrounded by huge tall trees, like the runt of the tree litter. And then we get to that tree, we turn 180 degrees, and we're going to walk forwards. And you should basically run into a huge thick tree right here. Just to the right of that, you've got a set of bushes. At the base of those bushes, you have your stash. If you come from a different direction, maybe in from the sides or from the, the front, the best way is just to look out for that big thick tree, okay? So there's a load of trees in this intersection. Um, but you want to look out for the big thick one. It is thick. It's the thickest tree in this intersection. And at the base of that tree, you should see a set of bushes. So just come around um, the front of those bushes. And obviously, there is the stash. From this one to get to the next one, just turn around pretty much 180 degrees and run back to that Christmas tree. And then I would just want you to carry on running. Just carry on running forwards. Okay, until you hit the power lines and we're looking for a pylon. Um, so here are the pylon, uh, power lines are right above my head and just to the right hand side, we have a pylon. So just head to that pylon. Okay, and then in under this pylon is gonna be your stash. Here it is, right here. So through the power of editing, I've managed to change the weather, and make it look a lot brighter. Um, so off to the next stash. Uh, put yourself in the middle of this pylon, um, point off about 45 degrees to the right, and we're gonna head in that direction there, okay? So as you're coming down, you come along a ridge, you can just go over that ridge, and just to your left, you see a dry lake bed. And you should make it through to kind of the edge of a lake here and just follow the edge of this lake all the way around, okay? And then when you start to see rocks in front of you, I want you to head towards those rocks. Like so. And then when you get to these rocks, I want you to turn left and follow along the edge of the rocks. Now here is the stash nestled in those rocks behind a tree. Um, but the key to finding it, you know, if you're not in the exact same place that I was just then, just follow along the edge of this rocks, of these rocks until you find the stash. Okay? Just follow the edge of the rocks. And if you're following these rocks and you get to a lake, you've gone too far. So here's the lake. Remember that pier from before? The that's where we are. Um, so here's the edge of the lake. Turn around, go back, follow the edge of the rocks around. Now follow the edge of the rocks. Follow the edge of the rocks. <laughs> and you'll find the uh, you'll find the stash. If you you know you come too far this way, you'll see a campsite. If you see that campsite, you've gone too far, okay? And then just turn back around. I <laughs> can't even speak. And you'll find the stash, you will find it. You will find the stash. If you don't find this stash, tell me. You're going to find the stash. Don't worry. From here to the next one, sort of back away, turn the right, turn to the right 90 degrees. And you can actually see a cabin. It's through a load of trees here, so it's quite difficult to make out. And we're going to head towards that cabin. Okay, on your left-hand side, you've got a campsite. So that's going to stay to the left, head to the cabin. When you get to this cabin in front of you, just come around the front of the cabin. You can get scavs in the abandoned village area, just so you know. So come around the front of the cabin, just like so. And there's a door here. We're going to go inside this door and then around to the back. Here, behind the bushes, is the stash. Relatively easy one to find. But honestly, if you're in this area, I do suggest going to this one. Because just around about this area here or this area here... 
there can be a Bitcoin spawn. I had it this wipe. I got a Bitcoin from around about here when I was just coming to visit this stash. So it's usually a valuable spawn. It can be like horses, gold chains, but you can get a Bitcoin there. So I definitely recommend if you're in this area, check out this stash just in case. So to the next stash, we're going to leave this building. And we're going to turn to the right. We're going to get to the edge of the fence. And then we're going to turn off to the right again. Probably about 45 degrees, okay? And we're going to start running. Okay, now, if you see this wooden shack, this wooden overlook tower thing uh, with the toolbox on it, I want you to keep that to your right-hand side, okay? So I actually turned too far right here. So you want to turn left more and you go up this hill. And once you go up the two hills and you find this path here, this is the path that you we're going to be using in a moment. If you go too far, you'll get to a cliff. Like so, and a road. So you've gone too far. If you see those, just turn around, head back to the path. And then when you're on this path, I want you to... So originally, you're coming up in this direction. You hit this path, and you turn left 90 degrees. And then you kind of follow this path until you hit some rocks. Okay, here are the rocks. But before you get to those rocks, you've got this winding section of path, okay? So you follow this, and you get like a... Hmm, it's not, not the best idea here. You get to this winding section here, so it turns left a bit, and then it goes right a bit, then it goes left and right, you see? You see? Hopefully that explains it a bit better. So, you want to be in this position, you want to see those rocks ahead, and you've got a path that bends round to the left. So this is where you want to be. Now, right in front of you, at that bend, there's a set of bushes, and then there's a tree. I want you to come to the bushes and just go around the right of these bushes between the tree, around the other tree that's right here with the beer trunk, and you should see it. Here is the stash. If you're coming from the opposite direction, you kind of basically follow the same instructions. Um, so often I come from the opposite direction. What I want you to do is find the road, what will happen is often I will come from, from this avenue here. So you find the road, and then I want you to find this kind of horseshoe hill, uh, this concave hill, and it's between two cliffs. So there's a cliff there, and then there's a cliff on the left just there as we're looking at it. And the, the hill kind of concaves around. So you find this and just go up the hill until you see the path remember the path that we we're on before and then obviously instructions are same at this point you know, follow the path until you get to the big windy bit that curves off to the left and just in front of them is the bushes you know go creep around the bushes and you'll find the stash right so we're going to head off to the next stash now we're going to go down the hill And we're going to make our way to the road. So at the road, there's two cliffs, one here, one here. We're going to be, we're going to put ourselves on top of this right hand cliff. So go through the gap between the cliffs and kind of arc around to the right and follow this right cliff around to the right. We're going to end up going up the hill. Sometimes you can't quite get up and we're going to find the paths okay when you do that i want you to kind of turn to the right and we're going to head to those rocks but just before i'm just going to show you these power lines here if you come from a different direction if you're coming from the, the stashes in the mountain area that i'm going to show you a little bit later you might come down this path and you're going to cross these power lines okay just so you know and then this is where we came up the hill so just head for these rocks Okay, so you can't really go any further. Turn to the right and just follow the rocks around. And here we have the stash. Nice and easy one to find this one. So from here, we're going to head to the next one. We're actually going to head to the car extract stash. Um, it's not necessarily the one that I go to next from this stash, but I think it's the easiest one to find next. So go back down to the road. And then we'll cross over the road and we're going to go to the beach on the other side. 
Okay, so you should be in this kind of position. You've also got the bridge in front of you, and I want you to run towards that bridge. When you get here, there's kind of like a gap between the trees. You can turn to the right slightly. And you'll see kind of three bushes. There's a, a small bush here. There's a small bush right in front of you here. And just between those two, you've got like a large bush there. We're going to run to that large bush. And at the base of that large bush, we've got the stash. Now, this one can be a little bit tricky to find to start off with because there's not too many references for it. Well, it's basically the last bush before you can hit that car extract. Because this bush right here, I wouldn't really call it a bush. It's like a tiny little twig. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this one might take you a couple of tries to find, but that's the best way to find it. What you can do here is run to the extract. Oh, I don't think I have the cash on me. Damn. But we're going to use the time to reference it. You've got 60 seconds to get this car. Right, so it's 26.50, you press F, you give him the cash. Unfortunately, I don't have it. So we've got until 25.50. So you then turn around, run down the hill to the stash, you know, run into the sets of trees. And in front of you, you've got small bush on the right, small bush on the right, big bush on the left. Get to it, hit the stash. Obviously, I don't have a lot of space. I'm going to throw that off so it doesn't change the sound. And then uh, head back to the car. And you should be able to do this time-wise. No problems. So remember we had 26.50 when we got there. So 25.50 should be the time. Yeah. And we've got a good... We had 13 seconds there. You know, so we could just wait down here for the last 10 seconds and then rush up and get this car. If you do get the car extract, don't go past this line here. You're going to have a sniper that's going to shoot at you. And be careful. Obviously, scavs in here, all PMCs just shooting at you. Try and get behind the wooden fences, you know, into a little bit of cover. But anyway, we're not vehicle extract hunters. We're stash hunters. <laughs> so let's go back to the stash. Here it is. So we're going to find the next stash now. We're going to turn to the right around about 90 degrees. And we're going to cross the road. So here's the road. Village off to our left. We're going to cross the road. This one can be quite hard to find. Okay, so just keep moving forwards. And you get into a set of trees. Just keep going. Now, I tend to find this one by eye, so there's a lot less references for this one. Okay, I'm pretty close. So, what I also do is take a mental picture of the back of the village there in my head. So, I know I'm in pretty much the right position here, based off this picture. Then I turn around to the back, and I kind of walk through to the back area. And I look for this cliff that's directly behind me, okay? And then I... Once I find that, I'm kind of a little bit to the left. I want to be I want to be behind that cliff. So I know that I've got to come back to the right slightly. Come back to the right. Find this tree here. And at the base of the tree is the stash. Right here. So if we stand on the, the stash and look at the village, get a mental picture in your head of that village. That's what you want to be looking at, okay? So when you come through, I basically look at that village and I'm kind of like, that looks about right. I turn around. I look at the cliff at the back and I'm like, that looks about right. So if I turn to the right now, oh, we're at the tree. And here's the stash. Now, once you've found this tree, the stash does stick out. It's not hard to see. It does kind of stick out. Um, but it's about finding it in the first place. So one thing I've never done before, but might work, is if you kind of come to the edge of this cliff and line yourself up between these two trees and run forwards. Uh, between the cliff and the tree, sorry. And that should put you almost to the right-hand side of that stash. So if you're really struggling, that is probably the easiest way to find it. But I didn't actually learn it that way. Um, 
I just learnt it by visiting the stash and then using the picture in my mind. Okay, so sit yourself next to this cliff between the tree and the cliff. Look forwards. You can even see the tree here, but you might not necessarily recognise it. Just run straight forwards. And once you get to basically the first tree, the stash is just going to be at the front of that tree. It's probably a much easier way of finding it, but you can use the old-fashioned way as well. <laughs> that's That's fine. So from here, I'm actually going to move position because I think the next stashes are easier to find from a different position. So I've moved position. I'm now in front of the blue fence with the rubbish pile. Can you remember I referenced this before? If I turn to my right, um, further up that way, we've got a stash that I think I talked about before. And if I face the blue fence and turn to the left, that's the kind of cliff and the, the horseshoe hill that we just came from quite recently. It's just beyond that. It's just beyond that. Um, just a bit further down that road. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a good reference location of where we're at. I think it's much easier to find the next few stashes from this location. And I'm doing this video for all about how easy it is to find the stashes. You need to find them. I want to make it easy for you. So you find this rubbish pile and the blue fence. With the, and uh, you get a trail of rubbish going off. There's the road that goes up that way. The path splits off. Just follow the rubbish until the edge of this path here. When you get here, turn to the left 90 degrees and stop walking forwards. You should get to a bush that's directly on your left-hand side. And just go past it. And then you've got a bush on the right-hand side. Head towards that bush. And at the base of that bush, there is the stash. Just for reference behind it, we've got like two cliffs and a hill that comes down. And it always reminds me of the Lord of the Rings, the two towers when Gandalf's at the top and he comes down with the Rahiram. Um, yeah, so if you see that, you know you're kind of in the right place and you just have to look out for the bushes and obviously the stash at the front of that bush. <laughs> so for the next one, we're just going to head back to pretty much the same location. So you find the blue fence with the rubbish pile and you follow the rubbish up to the path. But this time, instead of stopping and turning left, we keep going along this path. The path then forks off. We're going to take the fork to the left up the mountain. And we're going to sort of keep going to the left. And then it forks off again. I'm going to take the right hand path. And this goes up the mountain. We're going to wiggle our way up this mountain. We're going to get to the top and it's going to swing to the left uh, like a big swing. And it's almost going to double back on itself, okay, to the right. So when, when you get to that location, what I want you to do is that it's going to swing off to the left. Then it's going to double back on itself, but don't, you know, keep going forwards at this point. You come off the path to the top of the hill, and just to your left, you've got the stash behind a tree. Okay? So it's, it's fairly easy to find this one. Just come up the path. It's going to swing off to the left. Just keep going forwards. And look around behind the trees. No, don't see anything. Don't see anything. Ah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. Okay. Off to the next one. Follow, get back to the path and follow it back down. Okay. So it's going to swing to the, the right this time. Follow it back down. And this is the fork that we turned to the right. It's the second fork. Okay. So we got into this position and we turned to the right and we went up the hill. So once you've been to that stash on the way back down, instead of going back to the left, just keep going forwards. Keep going forwards. Follow the path. And you'll basically get to a T-junction. Behind the T-junction, you've got a set of rocks. The easiest way I find is just to come off the path there and get to the rocks. And then turn to the right and follow the rocks around to the right. Okay, and the, the stash should come into view. I'm hoping you've seen it. Just here, behind the tree by the uh, the bush. But if you follow the rocks, once you get into this position, it should start coming into view and you should just pick it out. That's the best way to find this stash. So from here, just turn to the right and go back to the path. And then just turn right slightly and you've got a fork in the road. If you follow the path back to the right, that, that's the path that we actually came down, although we came along the cliffs. 
so when you get here just turn left and it's going to go up the hill okay so just follow the path up the hill again and the path's almost going to get to the uh, another fork so just stay to the right this time and just follow it to the right and we're going to go continue going up the hill it's going to wind up the hill okay it's kind of going to fork off again you don't don't really have to follow it this time we get to the top of the hill now the key location to find is this location here with the radio mast there's a toolbox right here there's a technical supply kit crate and just the other side you've got a sniper scab that's uh, on one of those rocks uh, just over there so i want you to find that location it doesn't really matter too much how you find it but just get to this location and when you get here turn to your left and go back to the cliff here and then we're going to follow the edge of this cliff down okay and you might see it coming into view here is the stash so like i say no matter where you're coming from get yourself on the mountain and find this location and once you find it to the left find your way to the cliff and then follow the edge of the cliff down and the barrel stash will just come into view because it's blue you can generally pick it out at that point right we're going to move off to the next stash it's actually going to be over near the old sawmill so i'm here at the old sawmill that's the old sawmill there we've got the terra group shipping container on the back of the flatbed off to our left we've got the armored fighting vehicle down this road here we have the village and back in this direction is the mountain and the stash that we've just come from i've kind of moved positions on purpose because it's quite a long run and i want to cut the video down a little bit so when you find the shipping container if you're in the same position i am to the right hand side you've got a load of broken concrete and rubble it's like a broken building that used to be here so head towards that um, and when you get into this kind of position you've got some ringed pillars to the right um, and you've got a ring pillar to the left and i want you to head to the ring pillar to the left it's kind of underneath the, the pylon the old wooden electricity pylon and inside that ringed pin hit uh, the ringed pillar you've got like a barrel a green barrel and then at the base here is the stash once you found this stash it's really easy just turn to your left head towards the armored fighting vehicle you can get some loose loot here as well as the weapon box you can also get like m4s and mp5s propped up against the um i think it's an lav here so just find this but keep going past it to get to the stash You've got a rock on the right hand side a cabin there and then on the left hand side you've got a load of logs i want you to find these logs and you've got three logs going off in a diagonal direction into the distance i want you to get on top of this right hand log okay and then i want you to follow the line of this log forwards and you will get directly to the stash it's right here it's just behind a tiny little twiggy tree so let's just do that again just so you knew that it wasn't a mis a fluke <laughs> what is it that a lot of picking lawyer says uh, just get on top of the log run forwards and then you'll get straight to the stash from this one here it's really easy i'm just going to run down the road to the next one it's near the northern un extract i'm not going to take the road all the way notice the fuel down there i didn't know fuel spawned there so now you know <laughs> i'm just going to go directly over the hills but you can take the road if it's easier for you to find the location So, I want you to find the northern UN roadblock. It's right here in front of us. And then when you do, turn to your left. You've got some concrete pillars. Just come to the left of these. If this is your exit, it can be kind of hard to get this stash. The stash is kind of at the back here, uh, behind this shipping container. So, I don't know whether this is my exit. 
it is so you'll notice how difficult it is for me to get this stash yeah you see you've got to get that stash and not exit which if it is your exit you're going to struggle with um, but it's a really easy one to find it's not hard to find i kind of recommend going to this one if it's not your exit or if it is your exit go to it very last now to find the next stash basically face the exit turn to the right 90 degrees and we're gonna we're gonna run up that hill so you've got a rock a cliff to the left and then you've got like a cliff to the right and i want you to run into the center between those two cliffs Okay, and you're going to kind of get up a ridge to the other side. And on the left, you've got a big concrete wall or fence going along. And on the right, you've got those rocks and the cliff that we referenced previous. So when you get into this, if you look forwards, kind of in front of you, maybe just off to the right, you've got a single rock on its own. And that's what I want you to go to. So just turn towards that and head right at it. Oh, my stamina's going. I'm just going to show you quickly. Here is the stash. So there's another good way to find it. If you're coming from the old station direction, then you kind of find this fence and follow this, this kind of fence along. So I'm going to show you that now. You know, you kind of find this fence and kind of follow along the path of this fence. And you should kind of be on top of the ridge. If you keep going, you're going to come to the top of that rock. Okay. So here it is. And then just the other side is the stash. If I jump on here, just to show you. This rock is on its own. There's no other rocks around this rock, right? It's, it's kind of its own rock in this undulating valley. There's rocks over there, but they're all on the ridge line. Whereas this one's all on its own. So that's how you can identify this rock and at the front of this rock. Here is the stash. Right, on to the next stash. We're actually going to head to the Downs Plain just ahead. There's actually an early task just over there. So you should have seen this plane before. You can get some loot around there. Um, and basically just find this plane and then run along the path of devastation and destruction that this plane has caused. You can get the odd bit of loot around here as well. Once you get into it like a horse just there, but once you get into this position, um, just turn to your right and you should see like a downed tree off in the distance. Now, here around the plane crash, you've got loads of down trees, okay? So I don't want you to get confused. It's none of these. It's actually off, it's off away from the plane. So if we're facing the plane, turn left 90 degrees and you should see a downed tree on its own. So when we're facing the plane to the left 90 degrees, you should see a down tree on its own. Run towards that tree. At the base, you've got like broken logs, broken tree. You've got some bushes. And here is the stash. Right, we're going to head off to the next stash now. It's actually near the um, Eastern Rocks location. Kind of near the old station. Okay, so this is a pretty good place to be. I want you to kind of find yourself into this kind of position. You can see the old station in front of you. Off to the right-hand side, you've got a ravine. Um, you can't quite see it here. Here we go. This is a better picture of it. You've got a ravine here. We're going to be down there for some following stashes. And then we've got the old station there. So find yourself into this position. And then moving to the left, you've got a, a lot of rocks that are sticking out the ground. Okay. Okay. And there's a huge ridge line of rocks. And this is the one that I want you to find. All the others, are, uh, they're kind of big, but they're, they're small in comparison to this ridge line of rocks. So find this ridge line of rocks. And you'll see next to it, you've got some trees with like white bark on it. There's not many of these. So come around the, the rocks and basically find follow the line of the rocks around and you will hit the stash. Okay. So worst comes to worst, just go around all the rocks. Just go around them 360 degrees like always and you'll find you'll find the stash. You'll kind of come back on yourself. Um, so yeah, worst case scenario, that's the way to find this stash. You can get scavs to spawn around here as well, so just be careful. So from this location, I'm going to head back to that ravine.
So here is the ravine, and we actually want to be down there in between the, the large cliff face and a smaller rock. For reference, there's a tank on the edge of the ravine as well. So you've got a huge cliff face on the left, you've got a tiny little rock on the right, and in between the two, here is the stash. So it, you can use it from both directions. Obviously, you've got that tank there to the right if you're facing this way. You've got the huge cliff, small little rock, and between the two is the stash. So to find the next one, nice and easy, just turn around from this stash. Or uh, if you face it, I, I want you to just face up this hill in this way. <laughs> uh, and then just run forwards. Uh, I'm going to show you the very easy way of finding it, and then I'm going to show you the better way. So this is the easy way. Just come around the front of these bushes. Okay, just come all the way around the front and start looking for the stash. And here it is. You will find it. But well, I don't like this way of finding it because I'm kind of out in the open, especially when I'm accessing the stash. I'm kind of here, like, take a headshot at me out in the open. If you see me, you know, I'm easy to hit. So rather than that, I like coming from the previous stash and then running through the bushes. So I go to this stash first. I always go to this stash first. I then turn around and head up the, um, the hill to this next stash. And I can kind of, you find these two trees and go in between them. And I usually crouch and I'll slow walk here. I'm going to do a bit quicker. But I tend to slow walk so I make less noise. And then you just walk forwards. And then you come to the edge and you'll eventually kind of edge your way through to the stash. And then when you access this stash, you're covered by all the trees. And it's a lot harder to see you. So that's my recommendation for this stash. So from here, we're going to head to the stash at the factory gate. Do you think we can fit it in in time? Let's try. It's in this direction. So we're clearly not going to make it in time, but look out for the, um, the railway cart with the oil tanker on it. And head towards that. And you should all know the factory gate. So this was around about where I left you. Just keep heading for that tanker and then get onto the train tracks and head right for the factory gate. Unfortunately, we got some worse weather this this uh, this raid. So when you find this factory gate, turn to your right, you've got a big set of rocks. I just basically want you to follow the fence. And then when you find this electricity capacitor thingy-majiggy um, just turn to your right again you've got a small set of bushes and at the base of the bushes there is the stash if you're coming from the opposite direction then just follow the fence all the way down all the way down until you basically hit this electricity thing and you can't go any further come around the other side of the fence and here is the stash really easy to find this one especially the once you found it once that's about it Obviously, if you're coming from the direction that we're running in now and you hit this factory gate, you know you've gone too far. So you can just turn around, go back and uh, find the stash. So from this one here, we're going to find the final stash now. This is a new one for 1212. I don't think it was found before the 1212 wipe. So head back to the road, and we're just going to follow the road all the way down to the UN roadblock exit. So once you're at the UN roadblock exit, I just want you to come around to the left of the exit. Just around here. And when you get into this kind of position, just turn left 90 degrees, and you've got like a row of bushes. Okay, we're going to fo follow this line of bushes and trees, okay? So you put yourself just to the right-hand side of this tree right in front of you and just follow this line of bushes. And we should hit some broken logs. So just off to our left here, we've got a set of broken logs and we've got another one here. So when you see this first set, turn left 
and head through to the next set of logs okay and you should see the stash now it's just nestled in those logs right there i'm going to show you from the opposite direction because it's probably easier to find from the opposite direction so get yourself to the old station you should know the old station by now i hope they improve the old station it really should be a little bit better and what i want you to do is find in the distance there's a a, a, a big rock okay it should stand out you shouldn't have any problems identifying this rock not the best weather right now and i want you to run directly towards that rock perfect now when we get this to this rock you've got a dip to the left hand side you've got a huge dip right okay so you know you're at the right rock when you get here i want you to turn right and in front of us we've got a bush and a tree i'm going to head right between those two so the angle is about 215 to 220 degrees about 220 degrees there on the northern indicator okay so we're going to head directly down that path go through the bush and the tree i'm going to hit the set of logs when you hit this set of logs turn left i almost didn't identify it there and there is the stash right there okay so you should hit this log turn left and just start looking and you will find the stash 